Hey YouTube, welcome to the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. I think this might be my first uh, first news article video. I'm gonna give it a, give it a shot, see how it, how it works out. Y'all let me know in the comments if I'm if I'm a hero or zero when it comes to a news article. So I, I not really my style or my forte, but I think this one deserves some attention. I was reading through some blogs this morning and uh, originally saw the uh, link to the article on NC Renegade dot com that's one of the blogs i read in the mornings but it was from the gateway pundit his article was linked to that so i didn't really believe that 100 percent. so i went and checked for open source stories and it's a legit story it's no uh, you know no lies it's actually on governor.nc.gov on the uh on governor cooper's uh press release page but the gist of it is a company called future meat technologies incorporated um, they're doing business as Believer Meats. It's a cultivated meat company, which is disturbing in and of itself. So it's basically lab-grown meat. Um, they're going to make 100 new jobs in a facility in Wilson County out in the uh, coastal plains in North Carolina. And that happens to be the historical, right smack dab almost in the middle of historical hog farming and tobacco farming areas of North Carolina. So I don't know, you know why they chose that location, probably cheap real estate or low you know low wage earners or you know they can pay people less out in that area to to work for them under the guise of creating jobs or whatever but uh anyhow they invested 123 million dollars uh to establish their uh, first u.s based commercial food uh, production facility out in wilson county and uh, governor cooper was even quoted as saying we're pleased to welcome believer meets to north carolina so uh you know take that for what it is too now, personally, I don't I don't care for cultivated meat. Would never put stuff in my body. Um, you know, store bought meat's bad enough. It's got enough chemicals and enough stuff in it. But that's another topic for another day. I'm not going off on a tangent. So let me get back on course. Um, they make lab grown meat uh, that said they can feed the world. It was found in 2018 by Professor Yakov Nahimas. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Probably not. Southern accent. Can't produce or pronounce some words some funny names but you know do my best um they had a pilot plant pilot plant in uh israel and they're gonna scale it up and uh they're accelerating it so they can launch a u.s uh, facility pending their regulatory review and uh they want to uh quote believers on a mission to ensure that future generations can enjoy the meat we know and love today breaking ground on our first u.s facility is not only a watershed moment for our company but for the category as a whole, as it demonstrates our commitment to making cultivated meat a reality, said Nicole Johnson Hoffman, CEO of Believer Meats. The scale of our facility is a giant leap forward, ensuring that we create meat that's not only delicious, sustainable, nutritious, and also broadly accessible. So, and then they go on and say blah, blah, blah about the economy and this, that, and the other. And it says they'll help the company meet future demands of glowing global population. So that kind of sounds fishy to me. Sounds like a... Uh, World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab type, type setup to me. So, what do y'all think? Y'all think it's a, y'all think a fabricated cultured meat's a good thing, or do you think it's bad? I mean, I think it's real bad, real real bad. Especially you know, you can raise your own meat and grow your own your own food at your house. So that's kind of why I do some of my videos like I do is try to help people get into raising their own stuff at their own house and they got to rely on outside sources. But uh, they've got several grants uh, from from different organizations and I'm gonna put a link to uh, to the governor.nc.gov uh, release in this description of the video so you can go through and read it for yourself. So, yeah, I think it's a 100% legit article coming from the governor's uh, press website. So, uh, yeah, tell me what you think. I just, I don't like it. I think that's, we're going down a, a wrong path. I did some more research on the company, on their website, because it's it piqued my curiosity. They basically take stem cells out of animals, a chicken, duck, turkey, cow, pig, whatever you want, and they put it in what they call a bioreactor. And it goes in there and they grow, I think it was 10,000 pounds at a time in each bioreactor. And then they take that gel junk out Kind of reminds you of Solent Green, 
yeah, if you will, you know, similar to that. Um, so they take it and they use a 3D, th huge 3D printer. And uh, from what I understand, they, they print it out and make a uh, an artificial meat that looks like regular meat. So I thought y'all might like to know that. I said my first news article. So let me know if I'm a hero or a zero. And uh, a little walk through the garden. I didn't know how to, how to best phrase this video since it's a news article. And got my finger right there in the camera too while I was walking around because I almost fell. But anyhow, that's about it for this video. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please hit that like button. And uh, yeah, please leave a comment on this one for sure. Let me uh, let me know what you think about it. And uh, you know, if you ain't subscribed, and I would appreciate a subscription from you. So thank you for watching the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. Y'all come back now. You here?